ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, X-Wing players, and anyone who is potentially interested in X-Wing or other Star Wars games, welcome to our channel. This is a channel that is dedicated to the games in the Star Wars universe. My call sign is Batmando. If you are new to X-Wing, then this is the channel to watch, and if you are getting back into 2.5, then this is the place to be. Now, if you have any different insights than what we present in this video, then please feel free to drop a comment below because the more our new players learn from other people's insights, the better they become. So, in which case that leads me to our next point, and that is welcome to our Star Wars X-Wing community. So, if you are brand new to this game, I will tell you that in our area where I play, there are already uh, pilots, aka players, that are willing to help other players get into the game, get better at the game, because let's face it, the first couple of games or the first three or four you know weeks of the game are going to be rough because you're learning a whole new thing and everything else so in which case this is why we encourage you to get with veteran players or other players and in which case just learn from them take their advice and if you still need more then this is what this channel is here for so in which case we welcome you to our community and this is a ongoing series and this series is about list building. All right, you scum pilots. Today I'm going to be building two lists for you, so let's just go ahead and jump on in it. So I'm not going to start off with my favorite fire spray pilot. I'm going to leave him to the last. And what I am going to do is show you a very theoretical list on this one because I have not tested all of the people in this particular list, but I can tell you the one as in the fire spray. Yes, I have done this before, and it is absolutely awesome to do this. So in which case, we're going to go ahead and pull up Eamon here. Eamon is the guy that we talked about last time where uh, he can basically throw bombs out the back and it's at a three instead of at a one so the first thing i'm going to go ahead and do with Eamon is i'm going to go ahead and throw on thermal detonators under the device here so the thermal detonators are going to cost you five and basically what you can see right there is you can drop up to do bombs so or spend up to two charges to drop that many bombs and in which case, hey, guess what? You're going to be dropping these devices. They're going to go out in possibly two different directions. And you've got a three for one of them. That's in a three hard to the left or the right. I mean, the the possibilities of absolute chaos are endless. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and give the title of Marauder. The reason why I'm doing Marauder is because I want to be able to attack front and back. So in order to attack front and back, that means that I'm going to need to assign a gun Gunner, which is given to you as soon as you get this title. I'm going to go ahead and get Fetter and Tail Gunner, which allows me to fire out the front, fire out the back. Now, some of you may want to take a look at MIGs here because you're able to go ahead and uh, attack out the back at a, at a different target with one or more red or orange tokens. The only reason that I go ahead and invest one point more into this is because veteran tail gunner is guaranteed. In other words, you shoot primary out the front, you're shooting primary out the back, which is why you're not going to see me put any missiles on this one for the simple fact of, hey, guess what? I want the possibility of uh, definitely shooting out the front and out the back as it comes up. I'm also going to go ahead and throw in marksmanship here just because I have a point left over when we get everything all said and done here. I am also going to throw in this thing called uh, contraband cybernetics allows you to go ahead and perform an action after executing a red maneuver so but the charge cannot be restored on this one so there's that okay so we're already at 14 out of 17 here the other thing that i'm going to go ahead and take a look at as a matter of fact i may even drop something real quick because here's the thing ladies and gentlemen you got a choice here you can go ahead and fill in the other three points with something here but i'm actually going to remove this upgrade and i'm going to drop in this thing called ablative plating why because before you would suffer a damage from an obstacle or a friendly bomb detonating let's just go ahead and say because here's the thing we know in the last video that you can block people but unfortunately since you are a medium base you can also get blocked as well so that means that you may want to have some ablative 
contemplating because yes, you drop bombs, but let's say you don't move anywhere because they the your opponent parked a whole bunch of ships in front of you. Well, you're going to be eating those bombs. So in which case, get the ablative plating and save yourself the hassle. All right. So I also would like to go ahead and throw in someone that you're going to be like, what are you kidding? No, nope, not kidding. So we got Fang Fighter coming in and so of course I do have the space for this guy so when we get the whole entire list built out I actually do have room for this amount of points on this person so in which case um, we are going to go ahead and put in fearless so that we can go ahead and get that extra um, results to a hit and then I'm going to go ahead and throw in Beskar reinforcement so Beskar reinforce plating there and if I if you have the razor crest you have this thing so I'm going to go ahead and put it in there and that is burnout thrusters because being able to perform a slam action and then taking a deplete to get rid of that disarm is absolutely insane people so there it is so if Fenral is going to be very dangerous at that point in time. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in. Look, I don't get it myself. I'm just going to say that this is one of my favorite ships simply because it's similar enough in its, um, how shall I say, dial and other features to a Fang. But this one just seems to last a little bit longer for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put in Dirge. And Dirge as Scum is pretty awesome because... Um, while you defend after the neutralized result step, if you or if there are more hits and crits results than you have active shields, you may change one hit result to a crit result and cancel one hit result. So that's pretty cool. Now, um, you also have the whole uh, dead to rights thing. So if you got your defender in the bullseye arc, you are their defense dice cannot be modified using green tokens. So that's pretty cool. All right. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and show you is I always want this ship to have a three attack because it only comes with the two attacks. So in which case, if you got it at range one, you're going to have three attack. So let's go ahead and throw in marksmanship because you are going to be using that bullseye to a little bit of an extent and then we're going to go ahead and throw in the cannon synced laser cannons if you're asking why are you doing this because you are going to have a guaranteed three primary or i'm sorry a three attack dice out your primary arc so in which case i know you may not be able to get the calculates there however you are able to make certain that you are shooting with three attack dice at any distance at that point in time range one to three so and that's a lot i mean the odds increase for you to get um, better hit results if you have three attack dice versus two. All right, so then we're going to go ahead and fill this out with contraband cybernetics. I'm sorry, guys, if you're a um, scum player like me or not a scum player like me, then just having contraband cybernetics is awesome simply because you get that action after pulling a red maneuver. And yes, this one has the red maneuvers of a 5k and the two talent rolls and i believe the three hards there as well so any one of those maneuvers and then you can pull a contraband cybernetic and get the action that you need cool now the last ship that we're going to go ahead and put into this list is going to be a y-wing and yeah scum have y-wings if you are new to the game so in which case let's go ahead and find that y-wing did i skip past it yes i did so which case we're going to go ahead and bring in a pilot that you may not be familiar with but you definitely need to because um once i engaged this uh pilot or had this pilot flown against me in a um match and i never knew about him and i really wish i did so this guy is mean ladies and gentlemen so he only has eight loadout but as soon as i show you this eight loadout you're going to be like what no way so in which case we're going to go ahead and put in there r4b11 so r4b11 is after you perform or while you perform an attack, you may remove one orange or red token from the defender to re-roll any number of defense dice. Now, the ability of the pilot before you engage, uh, if you are not in an enemy ship's primary arc, you may acquire a lock on an enemy ship 
in your full front arc. So you're going to be doing a lot of, how shall I say, uh, flanking with this, guys. Uh, so you're going to be flying a lot of to the side and then turning in and trying to go ahead and get your enemies that way. And you're going to go ahead and give him plasma torpedoes. So you're going to want to try to strike early with him with these plasma torpedoes because it's going to. So there it is. Uh, during the neutralize result steps, crit results are canceled before hit results, but after this attack hits, the defender loses one shield. So let's say that you are able to hit one shield and additional shield goes off. And then uh, the thing I'm going to go ahead and say is like, let's go ahead and say that you are rolling three attack dice. Um, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, three attack dice, as it says right there. You roll three attack dice. It hits because you're firing in against a two defense die ship so you know it's going to hit so you go ahead and remove that shield first then you start assigning the damage that came out of those three attack die all right so that is the list right there ladies and gentlemen even with fenrau dirge and lima kai what do you know that's pretty dangerous stuff right there but I'm also going to show you a variation of this, so in which case I'm going to go ahead and switch out our uh, ship up here. So we're going to go ahead and see if I can do this again or if I'm going to have to be able to... Oh, wait, hold on. Nope, it's not appearing to let me do this. So in which case, I'm not going to save this. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, we're going to start a new import again. So Scum and Villainy, once again... I know you're shocked so in which case we're going to go ahead and come on down here um, I'm actually going to put this in the correct order this time so I'm going to start with my fours first so pilot skill four we're going to go ahead and bring in joy joy has a great ability where you can spend a charge from your torpedo upgrade and make your defender roll one less so I am going to give her the cheapest of all torpedoes that we have and that's going to be ion and you still have three points left over the modification I'm going to give Joy is going to be uh, Beskar Reinforced Plating because that is useful when you are trying to get range one of everybody. So especially with the Concordia face off and everything else. Okay, so now that being said, we're going to go ahead and head on over to the same builds for two people that we've already seen. But let's just go ahead and skip past that real quick. And what do you know? We're going to bring in the one, the only Boba Fett, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're wondering what am I going to give Boba Fett, we're going to go ahead and start off with... Um, I know this seems a little bit on the sacrilegious side where I'm not going to have him flying the Slave 1 um, title. I'm going to put in Marauder because this ability of... Um, re-rolls for the number or re-rolls the number of dice for each enemy ship you have at range zero to one i'm sorry when you are able to shoot out the front and shoot out the back and get that number of re-rolls twice that's pretty cool so obviously if i'm going to put in marauder i need to put in a veteran tail gunner the next thing i'm going to do which is expensive but is absolutely worth it we're going to go ahead and roll all the way down here and find perceptive co-pilots there it is perceptive co-pilot as soon as you perform a focus action you gain one focus token so that second focus is not an actual uh action so uh what i will tell you is like if you run into someone and you take that red focus you're actually taking one stress and two focuses at that point in time so all right now that has already put us at 13 out of 18 points there um of course i have an illicit slot what do you think i'm going to do i'm going to put in contraband cybernetics there because hello that's just what i do then um i have two points left over at this point in time so i'm going to go ahead and come on over to the modification here and put in a tactical scrambler while you obstruct an enemy's ship's attack the defender rolls one additional die if you already know that you're going to be a blocker in this um, scenario or in this fight then you absolutely need to have um, the tactical scrambler so that you can increase the defense uh, opportunities behind you so all right now in which case um, we're going to go ahead and show you two ships that you've already seen and still give you the same build out at that point in time so head on down here for the rogue 
and I'm going to go ahead and put in dirge. And of course, the same thing that I want to put on dirge is going to be what you saw earlier. We're going to go ahead and put in marksmanship. We're going to go ahead and put in the synced laser cannon. Then we're going to go ahead and put in the contraband cybernetics. And therefore, you have a three attack dice ship here. You have a three attack dice ship here. Three attack dice forward and back on this one. And then, of course, we're going to bring in the one that we just introduced to you with the Y-Wing here. We're going to bring in Lima Kai. Now, that's going to round out all of your stuff there at 20 points. And as I said earlier, we're going to go ahead. Oh, this is giving me trouble. Okay, so we all know what it is that I put in there earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and still put in the plasma torpedoes. And will it let me get to, there it is. So R4 there. All right. So in which case, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Those are two different lists that I would highly recommend for um, building a fire spray into your uh, list there. There are probably other variations out there. Um, I'm not going to tackle the separatists in this particular video because there's a limit on the amount of time that I'm certain that you all want to watch. So, and when we get around to the separatists, um, time to show off their version of Boba Fett's fire spray, we will definitely, or I'm sorry, not Boba Fett, Jango Fett's uh, fire spray. We will show um, a little bit more on that. So in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, this is Batmando and I'm taking you back on over to the outro. Other things that we would like you to build upon is, well, we got online resources for you to check out so that you can build your knowledge about the game. And what I will tell you is we have the official AMG website right there. So now, if you're looking for other things or if one of our uh, hosts mentioned something that you're not familiar with, go ahead and get that term, plug it into this uh, fandom second edition and it will pop up what it is that you're looking for. Also, feel free to check out other... Uh, fan-made sources that will also help you along the way and if you are trying to figure out which list builder to use to build your squadron check out any of these three so in which case next thing hopefully we helped you out so we would very much appreciate it if you help us out and click like on the videos that you like that way we know what more videos to create more of don't forget to subscribe to our future transmissions and tell a friend about us so that we can get this channel a little bit further out and more people can start playing the game so without further ado thank you so very much for watching thank you to our hosts for uh being a part of this F don't forget to follow us on instagram don't forget to friend us on facebook i haven't said no to anybody yet and make certain to uh drop any questions or drop a comment below in our comment section on this video that way other people can see what questions have been asked and see what answers have been given i'd also like to say thank you to slides go flat icon and free pick for the use of their media in this presentation and as always batmando out